Welcome back to Korean Annex. How's everybody? I have. So I've changed up this bit here just to give it a bit more space on the interior. I actually figured out how I can actually uh, fix this rather than having uh, walls across and then uh, ceiling panels. But anyway, I've also added in these uh, these things here. And I thought I had one for uh, a shoe bill. Uh, actually, can I unlock that? And the decorations that would be down here. I might as well. I mean, I've only got three left. But then. <laughs> Next time I, I, I clock up, it should be okay. And how's my purge meter going? I haven't actually gone halfway yet, so I'm still pretty good. Let's go into here and let's make a shoe bill head. Oh, there we go. I thought it just vanished. And I'm just going to let's put that. Let's see where's a good place to put this habit over here. Have it just here. Oop. Can I Retrieve that, yes I can. It's a bit off-centered. There we go, that'll do. Um, so anyway, in the last episode, which was uh, which what I uploaded yesterday, so when you get this, it may not be yesterday, it may be a couple of days, um, I said I was going to go up north and try and get some berries, uh, well seeds particularly. Um, I think we're going to go with the abyssal violet dye, which is a Waterfield Glask desert berries and highland berries. Because I don't know what these other colours are. But that might work out. And we could probably darken it. Oh, I see. Dark ash. So where do I get dark ash dye from? This probably gives a better look at it. Um, ash dye is waterfield glass and resin. So that's up north as well. So, so what we might do is might head up north, um, look for some berries or seeds, and resin. Now, how much am I carrying here? I'm carrying these armors. I'm going to leave these um, weapons behind. Um, I also made another chest. Let's put it in here for now. Actually, I want to hang onto the pike. Um, drop these off somewhere. Thirty-two percent. I still feel like there's quite a bit as well. Um, I might hang on to the yog cleaver. Actually, what did I just put it put put, put away? I put away the uh, two-handed sword, which is what I want to keep. <laughs> so already, it's a bit weighty. Um, I know that there's ways of uh, fixing the weight, making it weightlessly. I think I'm going to have to uh, work on that. Also, I'm going to have a look and see what people are talking about here. Yeah. Anyway, let's try this um, warp system out. <laughs> I thought that was going to be an error. Okay. Let's arm myself in case uh, I do get attacked. <laughs> oh, and let's put on the helmet as well. OK. 
Okay, what do we have here? A false mandrake. Interesting. I'm going to drop the plant fiber. Actually, I might just hang on to it. I mean, it's not much. Leavening agent. I don't really know what that is, but... Um, It's a stone. Highland berries. There we go. So we want we're after these bushes here. And these ones give. What do they give? They just give plant fiber. I think I can get rid of the seeds and I'll drop these bugs as well. And I'll drop the bees as well. As I don't really need bees. And we are after wood resin. So whatever that is, that would be... I don't know. Um, what does this give me? That just gives me wood. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to drop that because it's going to get too heavy. Or maybe I need an actual normal tree. Ah, resin. There we go. I mean, I kind of want the wood, but I guess we could probably just cheat and just, you know, warp between the two locations here. <laughs> Meaning that I just fill up all home. <laughs> so the warping system is actually a, a lot more better. Highland berries. So does it actually give me the stuff that I want? Um, all the uh, fiber in here and I'll drop this I'm gonna need more chests I'm gonna start running out of space everywhere uh, let's stick that in here and let's see if we can uh, make some dye of some sort so for the for these we have highland berries, desert berries. I need still need to get some desert berries. Need to get a water filled flask. How do I do that? Um, I need to make a mold of some sort, don't I? And I think it's in here that I make the molds. It is okay. Wait, have I run out of... I have. So we're going to need to get more coal as well. Only need one, I think. And then after that, we just uh, take that. I think we use the crystal. And we put it in here, I think. Do I have any... Um, I have a little bit there. Okay, where's my crystal? Nope. There we go. A crystal, not much uh, and I don't make it in here do I let's see if this works it does make glass okay that's good okay so it's pretty easy it's just uh, three of these and one of those 
Here we go. And I should have a water-filled skin thing. Let's take this hat off for now. And I also need desert berries. Okay, that's the other thing I need. Uh, let's uh, head off to the desert. And let me just look up the uh, the warp for this, if there is a warp. Otherwise, we'll just run across. Which it is, right next to this guy. Okay. Arcos, the adventurer, there you go. Hello, please, not what I want, I'm after desert berries. Thank you. We might as well do a bit of an adventure while we're here. If we come across any uh, thralls, I'll make sure to kill them because I need uh, that stuff they drop, their flesh. 24, okay. This is actually coming out a lot quicker than I expected. I was expecting like a large, long video. But uh, maybe we will. <laughs> Highland berries, there we go. Awesome. So, we get one of those. And how much of this dye do we get? Of course, the question is, how much do we want to die? Like, what is the, uh, the dying part? Okay, so that's what it is. Okay, so we, I think we want this one and the other one so let's save that do i get that flask back or do i have to keep making the flask i thought we ah okay looks like we have to uh looks like we don't get it back but at least the dying is coming along okay so that means i've got to go get some crystals I have a fair idea where some is, so we'll just uh, pop over to uh, to the desert, uh, like the cave where those those imps come from. Um, in the meantime, I'm just going to drop all this somewhere. I think it's over here. Awesome. Okay, cool. Let me get rid of this guy. And also, I'm hoping that I'm correct in my assumption <laughs> and not just thinking of a different game completely, like Ark Survival. Crystal? Yes, crystal. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna need quite a bit of this.
Is this just like an endless supply of crystal, is it? <laughs> I think uh, I think that's uh, probably more than enough. <laughs> okay, and if I'm correct in my understanding, there was uh, something else down here as well. Oh, it's a boss. Can I take on the boss? Maybe not. Okay. I'm not going to worry about the boss then. I'm just going to leave. So that gives me that look there. And I think that's pretty much all of the stuff that's... Uh, ...diable by the look of it. I was kind of hoping to be a bit more, you know, completely coloured. But um, let's see. Do I have any... Uh, more made so I can sort of do most of it um, maybe if I wasn't standing in the light <coughs> in the light so much let's come out here and uh, this is not much of a difference is it also I'm also standing in the middle of a grass as well so that doesn't really help either Yeah, kind of. <laughs> See, that doesn't really do much at all. Yeah. So unfortunately, that's uh, actually fully died. So not as what we were hoping to do. <laughs> I think now is a good time that we can go a uh, bit of a scout and try and look up our um, ideal building place. See what's taken, been taken, see what's free. Um, one of the uh, locations I had for the idea was uh, where we originally looked at, which was up around here, uh, around here. So there was quite a bit of space. I think it was like um, around here, I think. Well, not not in this area, but more like this area here. Yeah, it was like around here, so. But I would like to have a look and see what's actually over here. This, because this has quite a lot of space here. Or over here. Yeah. So I'm going to go warp there and uh, we'll see how what we have over there, shall we? So this is the uh, slave road outside the uh, unnamed city. And I think we want to go up north. So right now I'm facing the wrong way. I think we want to go north and just up through the southern uh, this this wall here into this area. So we're going towards the uh, that watering hole, the oasis. Again, I don't see anybody building here. See, this, this space down here is actually really, really flat. Right? So it's actually really good for building. You could probably build a, a city here or something. So I'm surprised nobody's actually uh, <laughs> come down here. Unless they have and it just hasn't spawned in. Uh, render distance might not be that close. It's also a good, a good way of getting um, some journey steps and uh, 
you know, just a, well, not journey steps, um, XP by finding uh, locations. Yeah, there's a lot of space here. My plan was to build a... I could build a small castle down here. Well, not, not more for castle, but more of a... Um, I guess I kind of a, a bit of a, like a miniature fortress, but more for um, a refuge. So that could be my main base, plus I'll be, you know, multiple uh, workstations, stuff like that. Oh yeah, and uh, also what we came for, some coal. Yeah, I want to avoid the unnamed city. So I'm trying to go around it, not through it. <laughs> the other side of this... <laughs> so we want to go towards that greenery. Also means that we're going to avoid all of these rock noses while we're here. Again, a whole lot of space that nobody is utilizing for large builds. Ah, oh, but there is a giant scorpion here, so that's probably why. Um, let's... Can I get to this without being attacked? And uh, add it to my found locations. <laughs> Uh, almost, also, almost near or nothing. Uh, hopefully, I can get this up to uh, this one here on the next one. We'll probably be just around it here. So, that's to play another two levels. I am level 26, so 27, 28. Probably get to there. And then we'll start on the encumbrance again. And then maybe go back to the grit. I wouldn't mind getting the vitality all the way to level th to the third tier so we can get the uh, fierce vitality gain passive health regeneration and I think yeah I think that's all we need um, for encumbrance I mean anywhere would be fine I think grit and strength is the main two ones agility maybe to at least the first one so we can actually run without losing stamina and the survival, again, I'm not all that, you know, fussed about that. But at least that's an idea of where we want to go in the next, uh, in the next stages. Oh, somebody building two bases. So whose base is this? This is... House of Boobs. Okay, I think I know whose place this is. Okay, so I don't think there's a, like a safer way of getting inside, but this is the city here. Can I at least get the achievement? There we go. <laughs> At least we're getting quite a bit of uh, discoveries uh, done. Okay. It doesn't look like anybody's built here either. 
I mean, in theory, I should be able to at least see something. So that's actually quite a big huge area. I may actually end up going over here. Interesting. Hmm. So this area is pretty big on stone and iron, so that's good. Trees, not as much, uh, but the four times harvesting shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yes, other than the scorpions, this is actually a pretty good place for build. Um, are the scorpions, are they that difficult? Okay, so it's not that difficult, but it is kind of annoying. Uh, what can you give me? Kaisen. Okay, that's fine. I guess we don't want to stop the spawning of scorpions down here. Um, I could probably, you know, raise it up a bit and then uh, build out a bit around like here. Actually, what I might do is I might actually build like around here. So we get the scorpion, uh, scorpion still spawning over that direction, but at least we uh, have all this space down here. We can build up and then um, add a few things in. That is a plan. Let's uh, scale a bit more though, before we actually uh, come to a decision, and I may not even come to a decision. Still a, bit of, a lot of preparation to go forth, um, back of the base. There's all that space over there, but there's nothing over there in terms of resources. This area here is, is that kind of flat-ish, but again, it's not. I think what we want to do is we want to... Maybe. I might, what I might do is I might load up a single player and just uh, have a test around with... Um, building space and what we can and what we can't do. Could do something on this cliff here. Again, I'm going to have to load up a single player and just play around. But then actually, I kind of like this whole area here. It's big. Um, there's a lot of space. I may be able to do something like overhanging a bit as well. Maybe some stairs going down to the bottom. And it's not too close to the scorpion, so we won't actually get attacked too much. Plus, we have all this dry wood down here. So, yeah, this could work out. Um, but anyway, I think this is going to be it for this episode. Um, of course, I'm going to keep playing and gathering resources and just doing more general preparation and stuff like that but um i think we have a thing let me just do some testing in, the, in my single player now and uh in the meantime we'll see you in the next episode